let's start with our right hand. We're going to start by finding an A. To find the A, look for three black notes in a row, and the A is one of the white notes between, it's the rightmost one between the three black notes. The A that we want is the third one down from the top of the piano keyboard. So it's in the third octave down. We're going to start with that A with finger four. And from there we're going to play an A followed by a G sharp followed by an A again. So A, G sharp, A with fingers four, three, and four. A, G sharp, A. From there, I'm going to take finger four and put it on the G here. And then I'm going to go finger four on the G, three on the F, two on the E, one on the D, cross over to the C sharp with finger two, and back to the D with finger one. So G, F, E, D, C sharp, D with fingers four, three, two, one, cross over, two, one. Okay, you're gonna wanna practice playing that fairly quickly. From the beginning, pause. Again, pause. Now the left hand is going to be playing the same exact thing, one octave lower. There's one thing I want to say about the fingering here. It's pretty flexible. You can play around with what fingers work best for you. I'm just playing it using fingers that I typically play the song with. Uh, various versions of the sheet music recommend different fingerings. So back to the left hand. Again, the left hand is going to be playing the same exact thing the right hand played, one octave lower. Let me just give you my recommended fingers for this. I'm going to play the A with finger one, the G sharp with finger two, and the A again with finger one. So we're going to do A, G sharp, A with fingers one, two, and one. And then I'm going to go to the G with finger one, and I'm going to go right down. Finger two on the F, three on the E, four on the D, five on the C sharp, and then four back to the D. One, two, three, four, five, four. Let's do both hands together there. Again. A little faster. Notice how we do the first part. Take a nice rest and then come in with the second part. Let's add the pedal to that part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the A, G sharp, A, and then press down the pedal after I hit those A's down. So it's pedal, hold, release. And then press the pedal down again after I press that D. Pedal, release, pedal, release. You may want to add a little more pedal as you're coming down here, but make sure that you release it and press it down again after you play that D. So maybe something like this. Pedal, a little pedal. So pedal, release, a little pedal. Release and press down the pedal again and then release. release. After that part, both hands are going to come down one full octave and we're going to start on the A's one octave lower and the beginning is going to be the same. A, G sharp, A, just like before. Now let's just go to the right hand. So after the A, G sharp, A, we're going to play an E with finger one, F with finger two, C sharp with finger one, D with finger two. So. E, F, C sharp, D. Finger one, two, one, two. And with the left hand, A, G sharp, A, with fingers one, two, and one again. And then E with finger four, F with finger three, C sharp with finger five, and D with finger four. 
One, two, one, four, three, five, four. With both hands? From the beginning without the pedal? Let's add in a little pedal to that second part. Again, A, G sharp, A, press the pedal. And then we could play the pedal while we do the E, F, C sharp, D, release and press again, and then release. So again, pedal, pedal, release and press, and release from the beginning with the pedal. And then we're going to go one octave lower to the A's, and we're going to do exactly what we did the first time. The first and third ones are identical except two octaves apart. From the beginning. After that, we're going to play two Ds in our left hand with our pinky and thumb. Now the lower D that we're playing is the lowest D on the piano keyboard. To find the Ds, look for the two black keys and the D is the white note right in between. And we're going to be playing the lowest two Ds on the piano keyboard. And when we play that, we're going to hold down the pedal from the beginning. Now after we play those Ds, we're going to hold down the pedal and we're going to have to release our left hand and we're going to come up a full octave and look at where the D is an octave higher, and we're going to find the C sharp, which is right to the left of that D. And we're going to play that with finger number four in our left hand. And now from there, we have the C sharp with finger four, the E with finger two, and G with finger one. So from the low Ds, Notice I'm holding down the pedal this whole time. After we play the C sharp E G, we're gonna come in with our right hand and play the B flat with finger two, a C sharp with finger three, and an E with finger five. So it's like this, C sharp E G, B flat, C sharp E. Notice how I hold them all down the whole time. Finger four, two, one, two, three, five. From the low Ds. From the beginning. And now from here, we're going to change our right hand from this position to here. We're going to play an A with finger one and a D with finger four. So, so we're going to release everything here and play A and D. And in the left hand, we're going to switch the other fingers to a D with finger four. So we have... So from the low Ds, and then in the left hand, I'm going to release everything, play an E with finger three, 
and an F sharp with finger two. Still holding the pedal, and then I'm going to release everything at once, giving a nice silence. From the low Ds. Notice how I'm still holding the A and D in the right hand. And release. From the beginning.